And we're back. What am I doing? Speak to Lena, who's a beekeeper in the keeper's camp? Keeper's camp. All right, you're here. Got it. Got it. Perfect. Just continuing on. I mean, my goals right now is to unlock this. Bone Curse has a chance to apply chill. Second chill two is attack speed, cast speed, and movement speed. Ooh. Because right now... Each stack of slow reduces movement speed. Great. Is this a replacement? Or a chance to apply it? Ah. 12% per point at a freeze rate. I'm going straight for this when I get it. Like, that sounds like literally what I wanted to do today. And it's all thanks to you. He's been quiet since he returned. Capital Q, quiet. If you could speak with him, I'd be grateful. You're back. No, not I. Where do you go? I feel like I'm Lena. I'm so Woo! sorry to meet you. Money, honey. All right. Search for missing keepers in the highlands. With the e -box power. Finally... Oh, he's doing stuff. Dude, this is so cool. It appears to be one of the shards of the epoch that Balthas had. Here, explore your surroundings. See, like, I deliberately blasted past so much of the lore. Deliberately. And now, I kind of want to go see... Oh my god, yeah. Waypoint locked? What? Where where in the what? Oh mama mia. How do I get back there? How do I get back there? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I'm in the ruined era. Okay, sorry. Sorry, not the end of time. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I look ridiculous. What am I having right now? Green tea? Green tea. Yeah, when something like this that's this cool happens... What just happened? This place is fascinating. It just makes me want to learn more. Your death has come. I can't wait to replace this ability. So I'm going to be a curse summon mancer. That's what we're doing. This game has the best crafting in ARPGs. I'm waiting to get a little deeper before I start doing that, Triant. I really want to get to Soul Aegis because it seems cool to me. Great. Give me a chance to chill. Wind Void Despair of the Lizard. Oh, there's two of them. They're twins. Oh, I didn't mean to hit Town Portal Scroll, but you know, what can you do? Imbued Glass Cattle with a Ursine Jade Ring? What is this, dude? Minion Hell? So this... Am 
My imbued glass catalyst of evasion is not as good as my commander's leather-bound tome of hope. Talk about trash, am I right? May as well put the garbage in the garbage bin. Huh, I should work for Hallmark. Uh, whoops, what the? Jeez, oh my god. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay. So I'm still looking for belts and gloves and bodies. Still wearing my outcast rags. Okay. And this is when I'm level 15. Why I want this, I don't know, but that's what I have. What up, guys? This guy looks like a sim! Oh, where is here? Don't play dumb, only ranged and elders. Goldest? What the? The void? What are you? Okay. Travel with guardsmen. Ursine leather belt of deflection. Increase minion health. That's what I'm talking about. Plus four potion slots? Damn. All right, let's go to the garbage corner. Oh, that's right. Tomorrow's the 29th of February. February 29th. Oh, yeah. Is anyone having a birthday? Oh yeah, I need to do this. Imagine aging twice as slow. I like that you used, used two. Terra, watch over you. Gods. Gods. I mean, this is my friend's wedding anniversary. They got married in 2020, right before everything shut down. That That's actually kind of fun, man. Oh, there you are. Yes. Gods be with you. God, gods be with you. Good job, gods be with you. One Onia. This is 89. Thank you for the amazing content. Loving being a sub, really enjoying the tier three. What the fuck? Oh, I just ripped my camera cord out. All right, Wanonia says, "Hey, day nine, thank you for the amazing condom. Loving being a sub, really enjoying the tier three sub streams once this one ends and the free T-shirt you sent. Much love, mwah." Wanonia, let me, let me come back to you. Let me get back to you on that. Thank you. This? Okay, this comes from the computer. Okay, so where is this table? Okay, we have it here. Oh, I pulled it out from the back of the PC. Oh, that's fucking really bad news. Alright, so that means we should be over here. Okay. Okay. Let me let me put this in the in the basket real fast. Hi. I am day nine. Yeah, cam is for tier 3 subs only. That's right. At least. Special kind of cam. Okay, come here. Stop, stop being tangled. I'm gonna pull you until you're not untangled. Pulling it up into the basket. Alright, so give me a little bit of slack. I'm gonna stand at the desk, and uh, you can't even tell I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. What only is it? Another fun trivia fact. Before the crowbar was invented, crows just drank at home. That's... That's that's actually incredible. <laughs> I 
Yeah, wait, did, did this game have a Kickstarter? Kickstarter in 2018. How, how, how well did it do? I want to know all about this game. Because the game is just smooth and high quality. Oh yeah, I have a blink. And obviously it's doing amazingly. You're smooth and high quality. Thanks, Phantom Fun. Oh my god. Monsoon says, just tuned in. I expect to tune in to an eloquent monologue on game design. I mean, I, I have some real concerns about that, because as you know, I'm washed up. If you'd like to give me a topic, I'm happy to talk about it. 255k on a 210k goal. That's pretty good for that period of time. What does it mean to start on a Reddit post? My understanding of this game is that someone went on Reddit and said, hey, I want to make an ARPG. Anyone else want to make one with me? And a bunch of people went, all right. I don't think I want that at all. And like a bunch of people just like connected and started working on the dang game. Which is pretty incredible. So they start the studio got its name too. They'll start working on it after their normal job. That's a that's a great story, Cat Catatonic. Be with you. Well, because I mean, a lot of making a game is not figuring out cool designs and testing them. A lot of it is just like this enormous fire hose of content that you're just trying to insert into the game. And so, like, when there's some of these games, like, you know, obviously, Last Epoch, it kind of has these protracted development cycles. I think that, in some ways, it can be, like, really kind of amazing. Because the thing is, like, art... Whoa, 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 whoa. Art really matters, right? If your art is good, not only will it cause players to forgive a lot, but it will actually communicate a lot. Like, even in this game, you can see, like, right underneath their name. You see how it has these little symbols? This is the indication of what their debuffs are. And that's, like, really nice. Not just in terms of communication, but in terms of just satisfaction. Ooh, look at how I have 15 uh, debuffs on them. Ah, you know, things like that. And if you have a small team where everyone kind of understands what the vision is, everyone's kind of on the same page in that regard... You can actually get away with a lot of testing without needing a lot of art. Let's see. I mean... I guess I'll swap them. I am level 12. Level 12. I 
I like just hitting R and wandering around. I do need more mana regen, though. Dude, I did not even see... Those are... Ch oh, my God. Today I learned. That's a chest. I mean, my own filter. I only care if it's rare. All right, that required a modicum of attention. Oh, that was sweet. Experimental high boots are renewal. Wait, what what is what is what is this color? Eighteen percent increased. Special type of affix, huh? Experimental gear. Oh, cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this because it's more minion damage. It's less movement speed, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I mean that's pretty cool. I don't really care to do any crafting right now because, like, dude, I already have so exactly what I want. And also, like, a lot of these items I'm going to be ditching anyways. Baby Unique you can craft on. Oh, hell yeah. Go, 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 go. So where is where does it show my increased minion damage? Seventy nine percent. Oh, 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 oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! What's he what? Whoa! <laughs> what brings you here? Uh, what? Be with you. What brings you what here? What brings you here? The Terra's grace be with you. Can I not teleport over to here? God, I need more movement speed. I need to be so fast. I can be the fastest you've ever seen. Alright, this is the game. Here. Oh. I have a lot of rare stuff. So this does minion damage, this is lightning damage. Alright. 
You know what? I'm selling all this shit. Maybe I shouldn't do that, but I'm selling it all. Selling it all! How's the game? Easy. It's the benefit of having a golem like this. He does all the hard work for me. Oh yeah, I gotta do this, huh? Just leveling up my guys. What are you doing? Dude, what is happening here? Dude, I love these void monsters. What is my golem doing? I'm, you know, I'm gonna resummon him. I worry about his ability to pay. How much money do I have? 4.5k. My golem is nuts. <laughs> Dude, my golem is absolutely doing the twist. Council chamber. Nice. Major Tau. It's because the experimental item is it though? Because this says two minutes teleported around you have to use a traversal spell. So I don't know why he occasionally does this like slip and slide move though. Is there any backseating rules? Go for it. I finished the quest. I did it all. You know, there's something that, for me, just makes more sense. That having minions continue to spawn. God, I want more movement speed so bad. I even have one invisible skeleton. Look at my awesome invisible skeleton. There he is. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're pretty backseat friendly, but I think that we will give a life ban to anyone that asks me if A... Uh, the, the A hotkey is known to me. What's the invisible skeleton's name? Uh, Kevin. <laughs> Oops. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to go down this way. That's a cool effect. Look, I got a slip and slide guy again. Look at him. 
He's a slipping and a sliding. When I resummon the golem, he's fine. Still have an invisible skeleton. It eludes me. How do I? Brian Corgan's and Sean made a career on a move. Oh, that's too good. Oh, oh. Why is it that every ARPG has such a strong horror sub vibe to it? I mean, I know the answer is because they all came from Diablo, but I mean, like, literally all the text is still, like, drawing from Diablo. You there, help me. You there, help me. Help me. Oh, I see. It's the Golem's health bar. He tracks properly now. I got it. Do that. Help me. Help me. Only a little longer. They're fundamentally about killing hordes of monsters. I guess that's more horror-like than other things. Go on. I'll be right Impressive! Thanks for help me. Can I just... Huh. I still have to choose this. I see. Take the elevator? Can someone here help me? Isn't this the elevator? What am I doing wrong? This appears to be bugged. All right. Portal. Leave. Portal. And then. You there, help me. Yeah. You there, help me. I'm Prashav. Hmm. I see. I see. What? Go on then. Ah. Go on then. Ah. You there. Help me. You. I. You were brought for. Elder. I have received. Please. Please. The gods have long left this world. So I can't choose these ones yet. Be safe. So I guess I just need one here to get this and then to get that. All right, cool. Spirit Plague. Curses a target with powerful necrotic damage over time, which lasts three seconds, spreads to a single nearby target on death. Uh-oh. Uh hey, oh, oh, oh. All right. So, hey, hey, stop it. Hey, let go. Let go of this. I'm actually going to make this that guy and this that thing. Okay. Where is... What are... Uh, whoa. Idle system? I was going to get your bonuses when equipped in the dedicated idle container located here. You may unlock additional Eider container space by completing main story and side quests. It's 
fucking Tetris. We 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 got Tetris. Okay, let me. We got. Um. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Come here. We have minion damage, this is elemental lightning. Both of these suck. <gasps> Plus one to summon skeleton? Wait, 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 wait. What does that what what does that mean? What does plus one to summon skeleton mean? Does this mean an additional summoned skeleton? Or does it mean I now get another it means I get another fucking level in the fucking tree? Huh. <sighs> God, I want to unlock this ice arrow. Because then I'm absolutely bone chillingly banging. Dish birds. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh my god. Big ass yawns for your big ass Sean. Who's got it, big ass, going on? I am yes. so tired today. Shop. Shift. Right like this. I don't, I don't really know how to think about. Philosopher's Stout, Lagonian Idol of Frost. Follow your feet. Follow your nose. Where did it go? Oh, it's literally there. All right, here I go into the last archive. What what is that little thrumming on the door? Dan misses. We play Pacific Drive. Just got an ad for it. Looks interesting. That's actually a good idea to try out next Thursday. Just also enter the last archive. Anyon study. Heimon study. All right. What? Why? Why can I see people? Get me out of there! Wait, how do how do I mute this? How do I mute this? How do I mute this? Oh my god! Disable chat. Because I'm I'm playing in offline. I'm playing in offline. I thought that if you're offline, you can't see anyone else who's online. Oh my god! Ezra's library. I'm going to the library. Oh, oh. Got distracted. How far am I from being able to get this? God, I want that so bad. Dude, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at this underneath. That's so sick. That's so cool. That might come online later unless you disable it in settings social. All right. So let me go to settings social. Nice. All right. What is this? Take a look. It's in a book. All right. 
Oh yeah, I mean use my new ability. Oh, that's pretty sweet. It is. So let's see. So this is. Dude, that's awesome. So I just hit it with the e EW. With the ewes. Alright, I'm getting out of here. Oh, wait. I think I need to be more habitized about just, like, tapping T and moving on. Yeah, I need to just do that. What? Goodbye. Blah. So this is increased regenerate. Okay, so then this is minion physical damage. This is just increased damage. This is vitality. What's vitality do? Six health and one percent poison and product resistance. Got some of this one. This doesn't seem super useful. This is the one I want. Alright. JTS is me with the 10 gifties. So I've been playing this game for five years, 2018 Alpha, and happy to see you are trying it, dude. Hell yeah, JTS is me. Man. Yeah, I I it's one of these things where as I'm playing it, I'm just like. I just love ARPGs. <laughs> what? Oh, I have an unspent point. Ah! I am level 14 gamer. Don't forget reward on the ground. Oh, you mean that huge star that's there? What? Avarice. There's an elemental resistance. 3% of elemental damage leached as health. I don't know if it's good, but 30% elemental resistance seems good. So I go to my defense, and I go to my... Uh, where's my... Ah, here's the elemental resistances. Demon Minji says, This game's build complexity is interesting because it's simple, but complex once you start finding all the little synergies. Yeah, I mean, there's something that's just really, like, if you look at this, th this is a pretty simple skill tree. Because... It's excessively focused on being left... To, I shouldn't say excessively. It's extremely focused on being left to right progression. You just literally add points and you unlock more things. Ta-da! But then when I start thinking about, oh, going to here, and then this has its own little simple skill tree. This is about as many nodes as I feel like a lot of AAA games have in their entire game's skill tree. So this is really cool. Uh, and then I can just focus on these two, and then I literally never need to worry about what happens if I look at the transplant stuff. Skeletal Mage, Dreadshade. Symbol Abomination. Hold ability key to channel to absorb minions to a moderate area. When you release them, a single Hulk Abomination with added health and more. What? Dude, fuck yeah. Alright, I see.
because I think that the, the, the Path of Exile skill tree is a type of holy shit moment that, like, also makes some people go, oh, fuck this game. You know, like, as I'm playing this, I don't need to worry about all the possible locations on an overly giant skill tree because I'm literally not even aware of that they exist. Oracle Wiles is enjoying Solium Infernum immensely. Thanks for making me aware of it. Yeah, I think it... It's a really, brilliant, 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 brilliant game. I'll actually give a plug to it right now. So... Um... Oops, let me just get a six guy there. Wait, six? Why not... Why not five? Or er, five, why not six? So that's one and that's two. I thought there was another one. So I haven't even gone for this yet. All right. Okay. So, um, Solium Infernum, when you look at it, it looks like civilization in hell. And you go, okay, it's just another turn-based tactics game that's going to be hell-themed. All right, cool, nice, whatever. But the history of Solium Infernum is fascinating. Uh, it was originally a, I will describe it as a digital board game. And it was designed by someone who's a huge fan of Euro board games, you know, like Settlers of Catan or uh, Agricola, Age of Steam, you know, your, your really complex, lots of pieces, lots of moving parts, multiplayer games. And so he designed a game where the rough structure of the game is that you and several other arch fiends find yourself with the ruler of hell having disappeared. And so you are going to compete with all of them to determine the next ruler of hell. And it plays like a multiplayer board game. And probably the most, um, the best reference would be like in Settlers of Catan. You're trying to get to 10 victory points and you're all trading with each other and building in each other's bases and that sort of thing. But it was done digitally. So what this allowed people to do was they could take their turn. Oh, and I should say this. It's a multiplayer turn-based game, but everyone takes their turn at the same time. They like submit what they want to happen. And then when it's the next turn, everyone on their PC sees what happened in the last turn. So for instance, if I made a bid on this monster and you made a bid on the same monster, on the next turn, it turns out you outbid me, so you get it. Ah, that's really bad. Or you can uh, make a demand of another player. So you send the demand on this turn, and the next turn, they will see the demand and they can choose a reply to it. And then the turn after that, I will see their reply. And so, um, because everyone can take their turn at the same time and then submit, and once all the submissions are in, the turn resolves, this allows people to play asynchronously. So in like 2009, 10, 11, even though it was kind of a niche game, the players were like super diehard. Because what they would do is they would like, for instance, take their turns at the same time, email it to a server that would resolve and then send back the results of the next turn. So they'd play one turn a day. And so League of Geeks did a remake of the game that like just released last week and you can have up to 10 simultaneous games going at once. And you can go from asynchronous to synchronous and back to asynchronous as much as you want. So for instance, let's say me and four of my buddies sit down on a Saturday and start playing the game together. We're hanging out on Discord, taking our turns, having some drinks. After three or four hours, maybe we've only taken 20 turns out of an 80 turn game. And then we just change the setting to be once a day. So then each of us will take a turn once a day, and a turn sometimes is simple and takes two minutes to do. Sometimes it's more complicated, you want to debate for like 15 minutes. Great. I just submit my Monday turn, wake up on Tuesday, log in, play. Submit the turns on Tuesday, wake up on Wednesday, and then we can maybe do that for five turns until the next Saturday, and then we can sit down and play for four more hours synchronously together. And so you can have up to like 10 games going on at the same time. And so 
in addition to this idea of synchronous asynchronous, the structure of the game, I think, is really, really, really clever. Where you can do up to two orders per turn. And um, eventually you can work up and get a third order. And eventually you can work up even more and get a fourth order. But everything you want to do in the game takes an order. So if I want to make a bid on a thing and make a demand of another player, that's it. Those are the two. Those are the two things that I get to do today. Or if uh, an enemy is starting to invade my territory, okay, I might want to move troops here and move troops here. And that's it. I'm done. I have no more orders to do. And so you wind up in this situation where you have this kind of brutality of really sharp decisions that you need to make. Where you're like, oh my god, this other person is invading me, but I really want to make a bid on this, you know, whatever it is. Uh, you know what, let me just, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll just do this. And then you, you, there's just some interesting... Really? This is worse than my existing one? Why does it, why was it highlighted? Oh, because it's minion health. Got it. The name of the game is Solium Infernum. Streamed it yesterday. Hey, hey, sweetheart, sweetie pie, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Sorry, I got a cat off camera. Yep. If you read this, I trust you all. You are my people. Leffelwin says, Last Epoch feels like the true successor to Diablo 2. Path is great, but it took the skills out of the class. It has very few partition effects. Last Epoch being class-based has more partitions, so it's easier to understand when you get started. Uh, but it still has the real depth at the end game, so you really don't get to end game and immediately quit. Dude, yeah, I, that's a great point. I think that, like, the idea of classless systems... Oops, I'm hitting the wrong button. Classless systems I find dangerous because it's hard for me to understand what I'm getting into. Like, for instance, when you say, oh, this is a mage, this is a rogue, that allowed me at the very outset of the game to just pick one straight up. Commander's Brass Amulet of Sparks. Wow, that's... Look, this is amazing. And I, I actually think that... that I don't necessarily know if... What broadly devs do and what devs think. Because, again, there's just hardly any ARPGs that are made. But, I mean, I think that there's a lot of people on... Who are diehard players on, you know... Reddit and Twitter and on various forums who will say things like, dude, I hate that how restricted the classes are. I just wish a game would have free form, classless systems, and all the customizability, and then I could be the one to figure it out. And I think that there is a kind of player that really enjoys that, and there is a kind of joy there. I frankly think that it's super insanely fun to do that in Path of Exile. I don't use build guides in Path of Exile. I totally solo it myself. But the thing that classes allow you to do as a uh, developer. I didn't even see this. <laughs> Something that, that that you get to do, like, instantly if you are a... if you create classes, is one, you get instantaneous clarity. Where I'm a necromancer. Oh, bones, curses, necrotic damage, skeletons, skeleton mages, golems. Like, there you go. Boom, done. Um, I just I just get it. Or like when I saw the rogue and was like, I'm not doing this and just didn't click on it. Um, but I think the second thing you get is you get the ability to make very clear internal synergies that are pleasing right away. So I'm obviously a newbie. These are the only two skill trees I've really looked at. But I immediately see something like, ooh, entreat the damned. Killing an enemy with bone curse has a chance to summon a skeleton vanguard, a meaning that deals melee physical damage. You're limited to three vanguards by default. So I'm immediately like, oh, wait, if I want to be like a skeleton mancer, 
I want to go for this. And this is something that is not a literal synergy with this. It's a kind of aesthetic, fun synergy. And it happens to be a minion. And, oh, there is a super synergy with minions and all of this. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't think that, that there's anything necessarily wrong about saying, oh, you know, it's totally free form. You know, I mean, I, I even remember playing um, Fallout and Fallout is a little class free. It's very free form at the very start, but, but still it's... What? God dang, I need more mana regeneration. Oh, dude, th this top right is so helpful for me being able to just read what's up. And of course, like, you have the benefit, or you have the ability as a developer to have a classless system with clarity and all these things. You also have the ability to have classes and not have the clarity and benefits that I talked about. Um, but what, what I want to highlight is the idea of I click on create a new character. It shows me five heroes, five characters that are instantly evocative. And now five seconds has gone by and it's that five second period that I think is so amazingly helpful. Because I mean, if you showed me a giant skill tree and said pick five, one of five starting places, think about that first five seconds, you just get a little bit of, ooh, okay. Now, it's just five seconds. But the best description of this I ever heard was there is a uh, writing author, as in he, both writes fiction books, but also writes books about how to write fiction books. His name is Jack Bickham, one of my favorite books ever called Scene and Structure, where he described those moments are a little trip for your consumer. And one little trip is no big deal, but if you have enough trips, it'll cause them to fall over and eject themselves from your media. And I think it's just a brilliant description. If you see those five little starting nodes to a giant skill tree, and to be clear, I'm not talking about Path of Exile. I'm just saying if you see five starting nodes to a giant skill tree, that could be a little bit of a, um, okay, all right. And then if you step in to the game and, hey, you can have any mixture of abilities that you want alongside this skill tree. Okay, all right. And then there's this crazy crafting system. Oh, shit. And if you just get a few of those, someone's going to go, this, I don't even know what's good or bad or what's happening in this game. And I think that um, the the way that Last Epoch has flowed for the first four hours has been just a 10 out of 10 for me. It has been brilliant. The fact that I have only unlocked enough space to think about two things, and for a while I was only thinking about one thing. Skeletons are cool, I picked that, done. Laxwell says, I think Path of Exile kind of did that on purpose. I specifically said I was not referencing Path of Exile to be clear. I was instead noting if this game took its elements and made them fully freeform instead of composed into classes. Lux says, no, I know, I just think they, they, they put that thought into their design. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need to go back here. Because I kind of think there's this... Whoa. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna draw a graph in MS Paint. See if I can do this properly. So here, here, here's your player excitement. Excitement going up. 
You know what? E for excitement. And here, here's knowledge. Let me do K like this. So, and here, here's going to be, uh... Yeah, let's do super complex. Let's do super simple. So, like, th this is generally the, um... Like, the arc of a player when they're playing a super simple game is they'll start off, and they'll be pretty excited because they can actually understand everything. And then as the game goes on, oh, there's actually not that much depth. Oh, boo, that's not that exciting. And there's obviously this problem where a game that's really complicated has this period of time where there's just so much stuff going on. And it's, it's not even clear what is, like, good or bad. And I, I think that, like, here's Last Epoch. It, it has, with the classes and the restrictions at the start of the game, I'm putting this a little lower than this because there's some things with the crafting that I just, like, I don't get why I would be excited about crafting yet. I'm sort of like, ah, uh, kind of, it's unclear to me. Uh, you know, there's some issues, but, like, as time is going on, you know, it, it, it's, like, kind of just allowing me to have an experience kind of like this. And I don't actually think that this is how every super complicated game works. This is not how every super simple game works. Rather, these curves are just if a developer did no effort and just dumped a bunch of shit into the game, you'd have the two more red-hued curves. And if you have really good structure, uh, not just of tutorialization, but the way that things unlock, like for instance, I get to p I originally just picked one ability and these four were locked. This is not a tutorial. This is a restriction that forces me to be unable to get overwhelmed because I just literally go, I don't know, I'll pick summon skeletons. Oh, I picked it. I don't know, maybe do I want this or this or this or this? Then I might take a moment to look around a little bit, but I can understand it very simply. And I think that like there there are also are players who in this there there's the kind of player who also looks at a game like Path of Exile, and I'm going to do purple for Path of Exile player, there are some players who will see that skill tree and they'll be like, this is the most awesome thing ever. And they'll start at this point. And there's also players who look at that skill tree and go, this is the most daunting shit ever. And they'll look at that and they'll feel the exact opposite. Um, and so I think that there there's absolutely an argument to be made of like, yeah, you know, I think Path of Exile devs probably chose to do some of this to a certain degree because for them that's exciting i think mean, that's actually totally fine. The students were corrupted what about wilson i see um I imagine imagine if you started at the bottom of that excitement curve and then you you gained about one hour of knowledge and it just dipped down into negative infinity um elder panel i feel you please stop him Yeah. So I think I actually want to do this one. So I'm just going to just keep buffing my minion damage. Okay. Reach the precipice. Dice rollers down. I think the game is very, 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 very fun. Because, I mean, here's the thing. These skills and specializations, it's very clearly saying this is a game where you're going to pick five skills. Like, very clearly. Just, hey, dude, pick five skills. And I go, copy. But when I pick one, I then need to go through the arc of leveling it up and focusing. So it feels like a very good balance between the freeform tinkering of Diablo 3 with the long-form commitment. This must have been an engineering nightmare, this part. With that notion of commitment that I know many of you know I uh, adore.
also really excited to level up my curse more. Gotta get them all. Sorry, sweet pea. Twinded staff of glory. Dude, I'm spending more time looking down here. Drop my weapon by mistake, really? Where's my how long have I not had a weapon? Huh. You know what? Don't even care. I'll find another one. Is it in the forest? Dude, I have no idea. It's not in here. I I, I, I have no idea how long it's been unequipped. Oh, Lee, three days in a row. Oh, to what do I owe my incredible luck and fortune? Oh, Lee G, how is thee? Dude, by the way, I'm I'm at GDC soon. We're gonna go hang. Yo. Could be in the crafting interface. Nope, it's not there. Is it in the gifting interface? Alright, so level this up and finally I can freeze. Yes! Chance to freeze. And I assume if they freeze, they actually do freeze. Guess I'll get this. I really want that one. Traveling Staff of Lethargy. All right. Special Den says, also you're doing Blizz Month in March, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can actually see that it starts on the 26th. I'm getting a fancy graphic made for it. So let me... So I want to do something really fast here. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. I really need to get a mana regeneration item. Oh. Oh, thank God. Negative mana ID is interesting. Yeah, how does this work? Oh, I see. So you overspend on mana. I put this curse on it multiple times. Looks like I can't. Give me this, give me this. Dexterous. Oh, yeah. So this is more dexterity and health. Alright. 
Ancient cavern. Oh. 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 Dude, I mean this this is very sweet. All right, we're in dinosaur time. Someone play Chrono Trigger. Cuz let's see. I actually wait a minute cuz in Chrono Trigger there's present day. There's a little bit of time ago. Yeah, no, th these are literally the same eras as Chrono Trigger, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, the end of time. I mean, literally, they just need the same music. All right, yeah. Oh my god, we have the quests in the... Oh my god. Ruined era. Game has the Berserk Sword too. Well, what do you mean by the Berserk Sword? Because, like, I have seen people say that every sword that's big is a Berserk Sword. Have a good night, Mr. Sonic Jim. not that long, right? It's like 25 hours. I actually think I don't need transplant. They need to remake Chrono Trigger with a Final Fantasy 7 budget. Oh my god, please, pretty please with sugar on top. We got gloves! Ten percent chance to summon a swarm of bees? <laughs> Not the bees. I don't even have a slot for deal melee damage. I'm not, I'm literally not going to equip it, much to the chagrin of my friends here. Not the bees! Share your experience with someone in the council chain. Okay. So here's the brain guy. Yes. Drop. So, and it's shift right click. Easiest sail of my life. Follow your feet. Follow your nose. Gods be with you. Stay safe. Find the armory. Okay, I'm in the armory. Found it. I found the armory. 
Wait, hold on. Do I need to exit the armory and then go back into the armory? Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Watch. Found it. Found the armory. Will it complete now? No. What's going on? What's happening here? Yeah, I, I am QA9 TV. God be with you. What in the fuck is going on? Panium spill I feel you please stop him. Greetings. Oh yes. Okay. Your feet. God to be with you. Okay. All right. Lisa's says I have a funny micro story about being incredibly emotionally mature. Oh hell yeah. I'm ready for it. I got- I have a staff. Is this two-handed? Alchemist leather glove. These guys just arrive forever? Oh, hi. Void fused forge. Dude, I love the flavor of just killing a bunch of dudes. Oh, whoops. Summon you, summon you, summon you, summon you. All right, Blighted Copper Ring of Remedy. All right, I have a lot of stuff to look for. Lee said, so somebody had some personal feedback for me, so I said, I'm looking forward to hearing your feedback. Then a minute later, I was like, I'm too anxious to hear your feedback. I need to go for now. Like, I just straight tapped out of the, a very mature conversation. <laughs> yeah, know thy limits, Lee, man. Dude, yeah, that's 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 just something that I, I feel like it is... I feel like that is an example of the balance of trying to step into emotional maturity, where it's like, okay, I don't like confrontation, okay? I just don't want to confront people. Hey, you know what? I'm starting to mature. You know what? I invite it. I invite the confrontation. I invite the conflict. Tell me. Tell me what it is that you're experiencing. And then I think the, the next layer is like, I want you to tell me, but fucking not now. Not in the mood for it. <laughs> Literally, no. I don't. I, I do not want to hear it at all. I really want ice, boys. But what's in my inventory? This is useless. I mean, this literally will fit. It's two-handed, so we can't do it. What are these? Wonder what wonder what an attunement is. What is an attunement? Tell me. I'm no longer accepting criticism at this time. Yeah, no, I, I seriously almost, like, uh, destroyed myself. Totally Lord of the Rings style by being like, No, I'm going to accept as much. Tell me any bad thing that you want. I'm ready. I'm ready for it. I want to hear it. And enough time passed, and I was just like, Okay, I literally, like, just, just, just shut up. So let me, let's, whoa, attunement. To 
Human grants two mana per point. I see. Strength, dexterity, intelligence, two mana. Got it. Yeah, dude, like, I don't know. I, I, like, look, make no mistake. I, I'm, I believe in hustling as something that can help. I, I grind long hours. Sean, you can't do that. You lack skill A and B. All right, I'll go learn skill A, then I'll learn skill B, then I'll do it. Don't fucking tell me what I can't do. Like, I believe in some of this, but also I think the idea of like, oh my god, I just, look, listen, I don't have enough time. I don't have enough time in the day to do all the things that you're supposed to do. You know, Sean, there's this special thing you should do in brushing your teeth. It'll just take five extra minutes. You have five extra minutes, and if you're stressed, I want to let you know, you should meditate for 15 minutes a day. That's all it takes, and you know, exercise, it's so important. 15 minutes of walking a day is all it takes. And honestly, self-reflection can really go a long ways. If you self-reflect and write down in a diary, diary, just journal, 10 minutes a day, that's all it's going to take. And you know, when it comes to socialization that's unconnected to work, just get 30 minutes a day and that's it. And you know, cooking your own food and meal prepping, you just do two hours of meal prepping every Sunday. That's it. Like, each of these individually I get, but when they start to, like, stack up, you literally need 50 hours of awake time every single day to do all the stuff that you're supposed to do. Like, if I ever go to a um, field-specific doctor, like, I go to the dentist for my tooth or the dermatologist for my skin, anytime they talk about, look, it's really simple, you just need to do it, like, 10 minutes a day, I'm just, like, immediately, I'm like, all right, well, I fucking, that might not ever get done. <laughs> So yeah, no, I and, and and this idea of, hey, it's really beneficial to do this thing. I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. Groom thyself, Despa. Let me in, 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 let me in. Is there a button? I can't see myself. Help. Visit the crafting forge screen at any time. Is that this is the forge? All right, well I already know how that one works. Oh, there's a dude. Terra's grace be with you. Take care of yourself. By the way, I think this is so smart. Look at this. It's just a texture that's moving. Like, this shape is the same as this shape. You can see it's just tiled. Yeah. Like, it doesn't need to be perfection everywhere. Like, super efficient. I wouldn't have noticed it if I didn't try to make myself notice it all the time. Because it's like super effective to see these like lava flows moving around as you're wandering through this forge. And they said a new skill's unlocked. Infernal should target an enemy only when enemies take fire damage. So, let's see this. Someone volatile zombie. Which enemy or dies explodes. How many volatile zombies can I have? Six? Nice. Huh. 
Damn, I need way more mana regen, dude. I go to my forge. And a regeneration. Modifies the outcome for craft. With chaos. Alright. I'm just always gonna have mana regen problems. Is what I've been Zombies are pretty fun, but I literally just have not enough mana at all. Because I feel like I need to choose between Bone Curse and Volatile Zombie. Those are the only two that I can... Like, because with Volatile Zombie, I need to sit here and go E, 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 and it just burns a lot of mana. And I've already been leveling up my Bone Curse. I think I actually probably will remove Transplant after a little bit. I wonder what that is. Oh, that's my ward, huh? Oh my god, I fucking see now. Because if I do this, oh my god, look at how much ward I get. I get a ton of ward because of the summon volatile zombie. Oh, sick. How close is this? My guys are also shooting frost arrows now. No, they're not. Do I need to resummon? I saw him shooting fire. Hmm. All right. There's the ice arrows. So we need to return, return to the captain. Dude, the fact that town portal is just a button is is actually bonker decks to me. Yes. Old shift. Getting wealthy. Gods be with you. Stay safe. Not you. Oh, there it is. I stun avoidance. No ID scrolls. I kind of like scrolls of identification, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I'm just ancient and archaic. Alright, the lower district. Worst take, shaking my head. <laughs> you would say that, developer. Just would like to wreck the wreck. I just, I, li I literally think it's the best thing ever. Oh, hi. 
Hold on, I'm literally, I'm just hanging out. I like the AoE. Vinyl says we need IV scrolls, item durability, and let's get a hunger system going too. It's true. It's true. If only this game had a little fear and hunger in it. Hmm. Seems he failed to handle the void's power. Seems he's total trash. So much for their mighty elder. Pathetic. Oh, enter the time rift and unlock your mastery. We're doing it. We're doing it. Yes. <sighs> oh my god. I'm going to go to bed at like 6:30 tonight, man. Even this music is very... What is this? Dude, that's sick. This is very Chrono Trigger end of time. You seem a little disoriented. This is what is left of your timeline. And many others. Welcome to the end of time. Don't act so surprised. He might be kind enough to... Don't act surprised. I hate you. Himself. I hate you so much. Wait, where where is the dude? Hey there. Want to try your luck? Gamble? Purchase price for five hundred. Interested in another try? Yeah, this thing sucks. Nice. Not bad. Free fifty percent freeze rate multiplier. Amazing. Again, always. <laughs> mm, shame. So think about luck, though. <laughs> who, who is this voice actor? <laughs> is this is dodge rating, minion health? Purchase price twenty four hundred. All right. means you're due for a big one. Don't worry. Fuck. Oh my god. I mean, it's a good thing I sell all the shit that I find. Get me out of here, man. Hmm. Take care. What is this thing here for? 
I'm, I'm like quite fucking confused. Oh, not that. Left up the ramp. I literally have no idea. Oh, there's floating rocks? Oh, this? I can stand on that? No fucking way. Oh, we got a black hole there. That's pretty sweet. All right, here you go. Black holes are so in vogue right now. I'm sure you have many questions. Speedlin says finding that took me like five minutes my first time. Yeah, what they need is they need a giant arrow pulsing on the ground, sliding up the rocks. Papow. I see you come. I, I, if I, then close your eyes and focus on the max skeleton you wish to wield as I guide the shades to you. I see that you are still you. That strength will be necessary if our world, our reality, is to have any hope. You have additional health, and when you use a potion, your minions are imbued with hunger. You can increase attack and cast speed and 10 health. Ooh, that's insane. Increase minion damage. There, there it is. I still think I might want to work towards this. It's Infernal Shade. Oops, forgot that one. Still really want that one. And eventually I want this. Am I taking advice? Hell yeah. Oh, Lee Grainer with 169 and 420 bits. Mrs. Grainer, thank you. For the, the 169, 420. See you soon. Unlocked by spending points there. Oh yeah, I need to. I actually literally need to get some skeletal mage like so badly. All right, cold stuff on Necro. Let's go. I mean, this is just so you know, you can still put passive points in the other master trees, even though your spec is necromancer. Yeah, it's just the left side, though, right? Has Acolyte been fun? It's been pretty fun. It's been pretty fun. Hi. This be. Hello. Come on. Elder Gaspar. Dude, there are so many weird bugs around the. Why at Eve by you? Thank you. There is an old passage to the surface. There's so many things that are th about the icons that are on here that are just. Nature, smile upon you. Find signs, the lesser refuge, the shattered. Through will bypass many areas, but requires access to completion of lightless arbor. Okay. All right. Yeah. Th th there's some things about the icons that fuster me. Barrier dispelled. Are you still reading Berserk? What do you think of it? I I, I own the first three mega volumes. Um, and then when uh, Mira died, I I stopped. Not necessarily because the two are connected, but just to kind of frame the time. How does this work?
Get him, boy. So I, I got to the start of the Golden Age, which I believe is pretty early on. But I want to keep reading it. It's just not very light reading. And a lot of times these days, I need light reading. Or light media. That's why I'm watching Reacher. huge dude. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, it's it's so dark, and it's so bleak. Because that's the thing, I, I, I don't actually mind dark a lot of the time. It's, the, if, it's really if it's super bleak. There is 17. Seems like losing control of my dude. What other ability do I have? Colonel Shade? Colonel Shade seems to be doing a lot of damage. just casting this ability too much. So, with this, this is adds a freeze rate to Bone Curse, granting it a chance to freeze enemies. So what's, what's freeze rate versus chill chance? Yeah, because I mean... Yeah, maybe I should just hit G... Freeze rate. Enemies and players that are frozen cannot move or use skills. Freeze also has a base duration of that. To have a chance to freeze, skill must have a freeze rate. Most cold skills have a freeze rate. To listen on their tooltips, freeze rate is multiplied by the freeze rate multiplier, which is 100% by default, and it's more difficult to freeze enemies that have more maximum health. Freeze chance equals freeze rate times freeze rate multiplier divided by max health plus current ward. Huh. And chill. Each stack of chill reduces attack speed, but they don't ever freeze. Okay, well, I, I wish I had gone down this side then. It'll just keep spamming up bitter winter. One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, man. So I can go, like, respec, respec, respec. So I I'm just going to do this because I want to see what it feels like. Should I despecialize or just remove points? Bone curse that good? I'm just, I just like aesthetically what that means, bone curse. Okay, you despecialize, so you can respect to other skills. Yeah, you know what, let me... Wow. 
What? Wait, so I just... I just removed it, so like... What? Gotta level it again? But why would I not just... Despecialize all and go down to the minimum level? Because here's what I thought. I thought that if I clicked this, I would then have an additional thing to read it. No, no, no. I, I, I'm informing you that I have read it, and I don't understand why it's not working. So let, let me let me explain. So when I said this, says remove spend points you're choosing the skill tree. Each point remove will do this. Level up the skills normal to spend these points again. So I, I assumed that it would remove one, and then I would be able to spend it on an, another thing. So with, with this removal, this is not like a refund, and then I get to do... So, so the idea here is that if, say, it was really easy to get level 3, 4, and 5, but really hard to get level 6, 7, and 8, I might remove back down so I can do the easy levels. I see. Alright, let me just do despecialize skill. Oh, and then everything goes away. Cool, got it, nice. So there's no refunding that happens at all. Got it. Accelerated gain until level five. I see. All right. Yeah, okay. So so maybe working towards this freeze rate is something I'll do secondarily. Illusion of Pain Bone Curse falls after only one hit. This is like a major respec. Bone eruption. Okay. Alright. Okay. I now understand how the bone broth works. Those things are hard to break through. I'm excited for skeletal mages, man. I already got my frosty archers. That's pretty fast. Patient Hollow Druin took rampant speed. So now I'm actually meaningfully caring about Mana regeneration. Okie dokie. Alright, to the quest! To the quest. Where's my clarity?
God, this costs a lot of mana. I'm the tank. I mean, this is nuts. You know what? Fuck it. Don't care. All right, now, now I'm playing the game. I betcha. <laughs> oh, Commander's leather, leather gloves are blocking. Minion damage. Yes. Okay. So this is regen per second, and this is compared to. Wow, that's a lot more armor. 61 armor. What what's armor do? Armor. All right, and according to this falling flame, where X is the amount of armor you have. Okay. Okay. Armor mitigates the damage you take from all hits, but has no effect against damage over time. Okay. Percentage of damage mitigated by armor depends on how much armor you have. Yep. Same uh, amount of armor provides less mitigation at higher levels, and the percentage of damage cannot be higher than 85%. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is like really common in a lot of armor formulas where it especially has some the number in the numerator and the denominator are the same plus the basic basically plus the impact of the armor. So if I go to my character sheet, I go to defense. This 44 is 10 percent. So then if I equip this, 16 percent, 50 percent more. I mean, that's pretty good. Uh, cold resistance, this does. I mean, I'm just going to equip it because it's different. Why not? Here's, this has all my elemental resistances in it. 13. I think I don't care about that. When I just deal more damage. Yes, yeah, so this is minion damage. Commander's leather gloves are blocking. I think I don't want either of those. This is minion damage, or do I want these? Yeah, actually, this looks better. Okay. They look cool, too. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's so unnecessarily sweet. Oh, yeah. I see you, environment artists. I see you. I was in a climactic. Did you see the dragon in the end of time? I did. Alright, this is... Cold necrotic chance to ignite. So is this one... Better. They look pretty similar if you ask me. No. Don't care. Oh, I dropped it. And they're back. I'm really excited to get Entreat the Dead. So many skelly summons. Here we go. 
The cultists had a philosophy. Oh my god, a cutscene. The void transcends reality. And by embracing it, so could they. Uh, yeah. After all, this world was gone. Why not embrace the void? If they devoted themselves to despair, would it welcome them? Would it welcome them? A form of hope. Desperate. Th these are Who some really nice graphics. I mean, I know a lot of it is just like illustration with parallax, but I mean, just the little extra effects are really nice. Well, this game was made in Unity? Really? This is a Unity game? Oh my god. Think of how much they've had to pay in install costs. Holy shit. Oh man. I am so sorry. That fucking sucks, man. I mean, like... I don't mean this is like a dig at the devs. I mean this is like a dig at Unity. Like, Unity has just shattered trust. Like, I literally have no idea how to ever trust Unity. Like, legitimately. Hey, glad to hear it, Gunwell. You know, Gunwell, my first episode of the Day 9 Daily was in October of 20... or 2019. Fuck, let me try it again. 2009. Sorry, I'm busy playing a game that's not difficult to play at this point, and I just can't handle it. Yeah, 15 years ago. Fifth. 15, 15 years ago, I did the day nine daily. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I believe the CEO stepped down. But I mean... I mean, it's it's one of those things where, like... Because thing is, th th there is... So, wait, first of all, I think I think I am correct that John Riccatello did step down as CEO of Unity. I think that's right. I think, I think, I think, I think. Let me fill on water while you help Google that for me. Uh, uh, like... It is one thing if a company makes a poor, um, let me do a really specific example. Um, if, if a streaming platform makes a bad TV show, they just make a weak TV show. I'm like, ah, that bothers me. I wish they had made a good TV show, but I don't necessarily. That, that feels like something that is very fixable because the series is completed and they're going to make new series. They're going to learn from the last thing and make the new thing. Um, or if a, a game studio makes a weak game, I actually do feel a lot more... Um, I feel a lot more comfortable going like, ah, yeah, that game sucked, but you know, maybe it'll be good. Like, for instance, when Cyberpunk came out, I think many of you found that I was pretty mild about Cyberpunk 2077. Obviously, like the PS4 and Xbox uh, uh, older versions, or the older, the previous console generation versions were really bad, but I, I, didn't, I didn't play it. But I was pretty mild on it, and now that it's apparently really great, cool. I haven't played it, but the important thing is I'm trying to communicate that I feel like that is resolvable. I think that what is really hard to resolve, which is the situation that Unity finds itself in, is when there was a business model decision that affects anyone that uses the product. Because 
there is an implication that any decision that will ever exist ever with respect to the business model could have a horrific change made very abruptly and surprisingly. And when that's what happens, it's just like, yeah, if you fire the CEO, I mean, there's there's way, 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 way too many people that needed to be participating in that decision that the removal of almost anybody is not really going to move the needle. Level 18, is this thing done? Oh, it's so close. So close. I, I literally need to get skeletal mages. So badly I do. Impossible. Oh my god, spiders that split into spiders, yes! Yeah, I also remember some people forget that they changed CEO, but they won't forget the fuck up. Yeah, because like the the scope of the of the business model change is one that is much deeper than oh you made a, a bad movie or a bad game or a bad TV show. I hope you do better next time. Like, I feel like there's almost an expectation. It's the opposite. Oh, you made a good game. Well, that would be cool if you did it again. Keep hitting M for the map. like using this volatile zombie, but in small numbers, I feel like I'm doing a more effective job of using my bone curse. Oh, Shade Archives want a freezing. Ooh, actually, that's better, right? Uh, less spell damage, but increased cast speed. Cool. Get him, Sean. Thank you. All right. Yes. Follow your feet. Follow your feet. Scalibur Z, good to see you, man. How you doing? Ty Sean Doe. Damn, Regiosh Gur. Oh, that's so good. Oh, hell yeah. Getting closer. things anymore. Yeah, this is, uh, not bad, my man. I dig this game a lot. It's really what Diablo 4 should have been. Diablo 4 is some good shit. Sign skull cage of frost. Oh, more minion health. Um, 
Maybe not. Yeah, th this game has been uh, demonstrating itself to be a little easy to burn a lot of time on. It eludes me. Like, I mean, even though I'm not talking to anyone, and I'm just marching through this, the pace at which things die is pretty pretty good. It's it's like a little slower than the screen exploding pace. The Path of Exile. Wow, that's... Really good. Oh, oh. Why did it let me live? What was that? Why did it let me live? That was incredible. Did you see me hit zero? Yeah, I mean... It was damage over time. I think, I think I'd rather have the other one. It's occasionally a no-death bug, right? I don't know if it was like because I was taking damage over time and it would eventually get to that amount. Because I've seen what looks kind of like that. Oh, I need a summon. my first death. Hopefully when I log on, it won't just, like, delete me. Yes! Summon the Vanguard. Why is this not happening? Killing an enemy with Bone Curse. So maybe I need to kill it with the curse cast. Impossible. Let me try that next time. Hmm. Might be at my companion limit already. Ice is 10%. Why isn't this working? 10%? We, we've definitely killed a lot of minions. This is not a 10% thing. Okay, let me read this. Killing an enemy with Bone Curse. I think, I think, 
I'm wondering if so bone curse deals more damage great and instantly kills enemies that are below a th health threshold so if someone has a lot of health or maybe if they're 40 percent health and then it just gets one shot by my golem so so let me try this There they are. Yeah, so I think that my golem is just literally dealing too much damage. All right. Yeah, see, that's the damage over time effect. So I think that's what was happening. See, now I have two of them. Alright, may as well summon this turkey. Suffering from success. Alright, after I complete this next quest, we're calling it for the day, and I'm going to do a full day of streaming tomorrow. Skeleton Mage. Some Skeletal Mage. Yeah. make him frosty. Oh my god. Alright, where's cold? Prime is the pool of skeletal mages can be summoned. Okay, where's additional? Death Knights cast Hungering Soul? What's a Death Knight? And removes all other... Okay. Okay, so... This is... Oh, additional is the wrong one. That's not the right word. Maximum Archmage is one. All right, I gotta go for Cryomancer. Yes. There he is. I got two. All right. What kind of mage is this? What's the starting kind of mage? Some skeletal mage. It's just it's just a skeletal mage. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, I'm just gonna get this next. I'm gonna go all in on frost mages. Oh yeah. Okay, where where's someone? 
What does this do? When you directly cast Bone Curse, you summon a Bone Prison. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stay frosty, 100%. And dude, if that turns out to be bad, I just respect the whole fucking thing. Oh my god! Oh, it's happening exactly as I'd hoped! Oh, fuck yeah, dude! Oh, I'm fucking happy! Oh! Oh, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of ice happening, man. Fuck yeah. Oh. I'm out of here. Oh, yeah. Oh, my home. Oh, my God. I'm home. We're playing this tomorrow. Uh... How do I... I assume it saves? I hope so. There it is, Strider Doom. Just looking everywhere. Tomorrow we're gonna play Last Epoch all fucking day. Huzzah! Bye, guys. Bye. Love, 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 bye. -bye.